Welcome to the Rustic Garden. Today I want to show you how to use the clues that are on your plants to figure out what kind of pest you might have growing on your kales, tomato plants, fennel. This is fennel that I shot earlier and showed you caterpillars growing which will become the black swallowtail butterfly. But now that these caterpillars are much larger there are a lot of clues and you can see right down there are droppings, green, shaped like a ball. And as soon as you start seeing those on your plants, on your tomatoes or any plants on your kale, you know that you have worms or some sort of caterpillar and you can see them all just feeding. You can see a lot of the leaves removed off and a lot of the droppings down there just rained so they fell off. But as soon as you see those clues, you know you have a worm or you have a caterpillar. You can also check out your kales. This is a kale that I've had growing in a cup that I just don't have room to plant. And if you look right down there where my thumb is, you can see sort of the green droppings. They were more circular before the rain, but those are the clues you're looking for. You can also see all the holes in the leaves. But once you start seeing holes in the leaves, once you start seeing the droppings, you know you have worms. And you can see the green cabbage looper right there below my finger. And if you start looking around, you can see one in there below my thumb. That actually is different than the cabbage looper. It's a different pattern. Um, you can see one right in there above my thumb. And if you keep looking around, you can see one right in there above my thumb. And I knew I saw one over here. This is a really big cabbage looper right there to the right of my thumb. But as soon as you start seeing the holes in your plants or the droppings, you know you have caterpillars. One way to treat them is to use a product called BT. That is a organic method to control worms and caterpillars. Not earthworms, but worms and caterpillars that crawl on your plant. And basically they eat that, it shuts down their digestive system, and they die. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out my blog at www.therusticgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.